What's up, you guys? I'm going to do my post-fight thoughts of Juan Manuel Lopez versus Bernabe Concepcion. Uh, the fight was a good fight. Uh, I was hoping to go longer than what it, how long it did go. Uh, first off, uh, I'd like to say uh, Concepcion, he gets off balance a lot. And uh, for him being uh, Manny Pacquiao's protege, I was expecting a, a whole lot more. This is my first time ever seeing a fight. But uh, I did notice he kind of fights like Pacquiao, but like the, like how they all crouch down and everything. Uh, Lopez, he, I noticed that he uh, has flying elbows, elbows flying all like this and everything. Elbows all out, and he wings a lot of his punches. Uh, uh, at first when the fight got stopped, I was thinking it shouldn't have got stopped. But after when they showed the replay, I was uh, they, they did the right thing and stopped it at the right time. Like for a second, I thought maybe Concepcion was going to uh, get the upset. But uh, Juan, Ma Juan Manuel, he pulled through. He did his thing. Uh, knocked him down good. Uh, when he got knocked down, got back up and just did his thing. Uh, Nonito Donaire. Uh, he should have, uh, in, in, in his fight against... Uh, Herman Marquez, he should have stayed his. Uh, he should have stayed orthodox the whole fight instead of trying to fight southpaw. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, you can't try to do that, but maybe he should have tried working on that in the gym more before he uh, tried to do that in the actual fight. Uh, Onito, he did all right. Uh, he put something on Marquez. This is my first time seeing Onito fight too. Uh, Marquez, I knew he was going to lose because uh, he came in the ring wearing Jordan boxing shoes. And I don't know if any of y'all have noticed, but uh, any people that wear Jordan boxing shoes, they um, they normally lose. Uh, you had on this kind right here. Like, these are bad luck. Like, for some reason, Jordan boxing shoes are just bad luck. Like, not just these, but like all Jordan boxing shoes are bad luck. Like, uh, the 2008 U.S. Olympic team, they were outfitted with Jordan there. And look how poorly they did, like, just Jordan back boxer shoes are just not good, uh, the punch that, uh, that, uh, Marquez, that was ruled a knockdown in round five, it really wasn't a knockdown from the punch, it was really more so, like, he fell down, but there was a punch, so they had to call it a knockdown, because there was a punch involved, but it really wasn't, uh, like, a, a knockdown from a punch, uh, in the eighth round, I was thinking, well, well, eighth round, he got knocked, like, he put him away in the eighth round, but, like, I was starting to think, like, once he got to the eighth round, I was starting to think, no needle should have took him out a long time ago, but, like, like he said, he wanted to get some rounds, and I guess that's okay, but sometimes you just gotta take him out, too, but I guess it was all right for him to get some rounds, uh, so, uh, that's about it I gotta say for right now, I might come back and do a part two, so, oh, yeah, I wanna give a shout out to my other YouTube channel, uh, a easy and quick way to get to it is uh, just type in Gabriel Sweet Smith on YouTube. Uh, G A B R I E L S W E E T S M I T H. Gabriel Sweet Smith, and it'll take you right to my other YouTube channel. You can actually see me uh, boxing, hitting bags, and everything. I got uh, I'm working on this new video now. Uh, I'm like 98% finished. I should finish up sometime this week. Uh, right around Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, sometime at the end of this week, hopefully. And I got another video I'm working on. That's like, that's probably got like 98% more to go. So, be on the lookout for those two. And don't forget, Gabriel Sweet Smith. Check me out.